Hi, I guess you can tell I'm not an Olympic athlete or even a personal trainer. I'm just an ordinary Joe. I worked long hours to get my business up and running. I did not watch my diet. I did not get enough exercise. I did not watch my weight. The net result? I became unfit and overweight at nearly 250 pounds. The first thing I needed to do was to change my diet and lose some weight. That took a few years, but finally I was 30 pounds lighter. Then I needed to make some more changes. I searched the internet for information on nutrition, exercise and equipment. I found that I should be consuming more protein. I found that I could exercise safely within personal limits. And I found that properly used rowing machines exercise the highest percentage of body muscles. Four years after starting to reverse the damage, I now weigh 190 pounds, I'm fit and have never felt better. This video will provide full details, but there is so much information here that I will just display the text and talk it through. Too little protein leads to loss of muscle mass and too much protein can damage the liver and kidneys. The recommended daily allowance of protein per day is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. This will vary depending on age, sex, physical activity and state of health. Males need more than females, the old need more than the young, the ill need more than the healthy and the active need more than the inactive. Older, sick or malnourished persons may need up to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight of protein per day. An active healthy person who wants to stay fit will need around 1.2 grams per kilogram. For such a person weighing 180 pounds, 82 kilograms, that is 98 grams of protein each day. Good sources of protein, 20 to 30 grams per helping, are whey powder, fish, turkey, chicken, beef, milk, cheese and pistachios. Yes, you have to eat well in order to get enough protein in your body. Now we're going to talk about exercise. The information that will follow was taken from the internet after careful checking and cross-checking. First, a few words about heart rate. When exercising, it's very important to keep your heart rate in the safe range for your age. Heart rate is measured in beats per minute, BPM, and the safe range is calculated as follows. Moderate intensity workout, 220 minus age in years times 0.6. Vigorous intensity workout, 220 minus age in years times 0.85. Maximum intensity, 220 minus age in years. Workouts at maximum intensity are not recommended. So, for example, if you were 45 years old, your heart rate during workouts should be in the range moderate intensity 220 minus 45 times 0.6 is 105 beats per minute. Vigorous intensity 220 minus 45 times 0.85 equals 149 beats per minute. Now let's calculate the correct intensity of exercise for your body. Exercise intensity is measured in METs, metabolic equivalent. Each person uses one MET when they are at rest, i.e. doing nothing, whether awake or asleep. A 300 pound person at rest burns more calories per hour than a 100 pound person at rest. So one met for the 300 pound person might be 120 calories per hour, while one met for the 100 pound person might only be 80 calories per hour. A calorie is the amount of heat energy needed to raise the temperature of one liter of water by one degree centigrade. The harder your body works, the higher the met level you are performing at. Table one below shows met level targets for your age while doing moderate or vigorous exercise. So, for example, a 45-year-old male should work out at a rate between 5.8 METs, moderate exercise, and 8.2 METs, vigorous exercise. 
what we now need to do is calculate how many calories per hour must be burned in order to achieve the target METS range. This will, of course, depend on the weight of the person involved, as shown in the next table. So, for example, a 45-year-old male who weighs 180 pounds and exercises at a rate between 5.8 to 8.2 METS will need to burn 500 to 700 calories per hour but must ensure his heart rate does not exceed 149 beats per minute. If the heart rate exceeds 149 BPM while burning 500 calories per hour, he should reduce the workout intensity until fitness improves. If the heart rate does not exceed 149 BPM while burning 700 calories per hour, he could safely increase the workout intensity by 10 to 15 percent. We have just calculated how hard you should work out. The next question is, for how long? In other words, how much total exercise do you need to stay fit? The American College of Sports Medicine suggests a minimum of 120 to 150 minutes of exercise per week at moderate to vigorous intensity. Limit your workouts to a maximum of five times a week so your body can recover. Note that weightlifting is a tough way to accumulate calories and is more for muscle building than for fitness. First, use tables 1 and 2 to determine the range of calories per hour that equate to moderate to vigorous intensity in your particular case. Then, if you have access to a gymnasium, use machines that show the calories per hour being burned, like rowing machines, stationary bikes and walkers. If no gymnasium is available, try to access a rowing machine. Note that fairly brisk walking, cycling, tennis, table tennis, aerobics and swimming all burn approximately 300 calories per hour. It's important not to exceed the vigorous intensity heart rate. Rowing machines do not usually indicate heart rate, so you must either use a watch or some other digital device or use a stationary bike or walker to find the calories per hour that for you result in a heart rate for vigorous exercise. So a simple way to get the right amount of exercise is to work out three to five times a week for a total of at least 120 to 150 minutes at a calories per hour intensity that keeps your heart rate high in the safe range for your age. Another way is to calculate total exercise in minutes. For example, a 30 minute workout at 5 minutes is equal to 150 minutes. Aim for 600 to 1200 minutes per week. Now, let's talk a bit about rowing machines. Rowing machines properly used exercise most body muscles. It's important to use the rowing machine properly in order to get full exercise benefits. What is needed is a machine that displays calories per hour, total calories burned, elapsed time and stroke rate. The Concept 2 PM5 is my favorite, comfortable and robust. Now we can discuss how to set up the rowing machine for your own use, in particular stroke rate and load factor. An acceptable rowing rate is 21 to 26 strokes per minute. Set up the load factor on the rowing machine so that you achieve your target calories per hour while doing 21 to 26 strokes per minute. The load factor is set using a sliding knob on the machine that covers a range from 1 to 10. It's trial and error, so start at position 5 and see if you burn your target calories per hour while rowing 21 to 26 strokes per minute. If not, set the knob to another position and repeat the test. The pic below shows 503 calories per hour being burned at 22 strokes a minute and a load factor of 8. Make a note of the load factor that worked for you, the stroke rate selected and your target calories per hour. You will use this information for each subsequent session on a rowing machine, digital walker or cycle until you decide to reassess your fitness and adjust your exercise rate. 
Now, let's talk about rowing machine usage. The internet is full of videos covering technique, fitness, safety, and performance targets. Here is some information that I find useful. For safety, secure your feet with the straps over the top of shoelaces. Keep your body within 10 degrees of vertical, leaning forward at the start of each stroke and leaning back at the end of the stroke. Breathe in as you pull back and exhale as you go forward. Try to maintain a proper technique all the time. Do not let your concentration lapse or your mind wander to other matters. The rowing stroke. Use legs only at the start of each stroke. Do not begin the arm pull until your legs are almost straight. Near the end of the arm pull, use your stomach muscles to lean back and complete the stroke. Keep your elbows down close to your body and pull them back as far as possible when you complete each rowing stroke. The return stroke. Bend forward using stomach muscles rather than foot straps to assist. Straighten arms and do not begin to fold your legs until the handlebar reaches close to your knees. Fold your legs, exhale and go forward as far as is comfortably possible. Each exercise session should be between 30 and 45 minutes. It might be difficult to nab a rowing machine for 45 minutes in a public gymnasium, so go for 25 minutes and maybe burn the remaining calories later or on a cycle or walker. Now for a few quick words about other exercise machines. Most gymnasiums will have other digital exercise machines which display progress logs. Below is a progress log screen of an elliptical walker. The log screen shows all the information that you would see on a Concept2 rowing machine. However, it will also display heart rate, top right corner, and if you enter your weight in pounds, it will display the current exercise intensity in METs. All the information in this video worked for me, but to be fair, I should let you know. Yes, I first watched my dad and lost 30 pounds before starting. Yes, I work out in the gymnasium four or five times a week. Yes, my protein intake is 80 to 110 grams per day. Yes, rowing machine sessions are 25 minutes plus another 20 minutes on cycles or walkers. Yes, I do spend another five to 10 minutes on other weight-based equipment. Yes, I am now able to safely exceed my vigorous workout rate by five to 10%. Yes, I am probably a lot older than you are. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.